In this video, I want to solve a exponential equation, but one of the very different type than we saw previously. This equation is an example of what one often calls an equation of quadratic type. Or you could say it's like a quadratic like uh, equation. So what do you mean by that? What does it mean to be like quadratic like? Well, the idea here is that a quadratic equation usually looks like something like ax squared plus bx plus c equals c, or it's something equivalent to that. But why not? it doesn't have to be the variable x, right? We could use any variable we want. So what if we called just, you know, let's pick a variable that we don't usually use. What if we call it like u, for example? a u squared plus b u plus c. Like I said, u is a variable we often don't use. Uh, we usually like to use things like x, y, and z. Um, also, it makes for some very interesting, grammatically correct, but awkward English statements when I say things like, oh, u is five, you know, they, people that, that makes people go crazy. But a quadratic-like equation is gonna be the following idea that if you make the substitution, if you're gonna make the substitution, let's say u equals f of x, and you put it into some equation and then you end up with something like the following. This is what we mean by a quadratic like equation. Uh, and so what I claim here is that this equation you see on the screen is quadratic like. But what's my u? It's going to be a function of x right here. So I'm going to make a substitution of the variables. Sometimes it's called a u substitution. For which I'm going to make the substitution u equals 2 to the x. Okay? So if you do that, notice what you see is the following. Um, we'll, we'll worry about the 4 to the x in just a second. But do you see that negative 2 to the x? That just becomes a u. And you have a minus 12 that's constant equals a 0. So how do you do with the 4 to the x? Well, this, this is the fun part here. When you take 4 to the x, 4 to the x by exponent rule, notice that 4 is 2 squared. So this is really just 2 to the 2 to the x, which by exponent rules, this is the same thing as 2 to the 2x, like so. But on the other hand, if I were to take 2 to the x squared, uh, this is equal to 2 to the 2x. Notice the two things are equal to each other. So in general, right, this is this is a pretty a neat little trick right here. If you have a to the x right here and you square it, this is the same thing as just a squared to the x, all right? So here we had 2 to the x as our u. Then that means 4 to the x right here. Turns out that's just your u squared. Um, if I took u to be 3 to the x, then u squared is going to equal 9 to the x. And so, you know, if, if, if u was 4 to the x, you would end up with u squared being 6 to the x, something like that. And so that's, that's a nice little recognition so that we can actually identify uh, quadratic-like equations when exponentials are involved very, very quickly. So coming back to our 4 to the x over here, we see that the 4 to the x is actually just u squared. And so with that perspective, you, you made this little u substitution over here, we see that, I'm gonna put a little different color so we can come back to it. This is something we wanna remember. By just changing the variables from x to u, you didn't see that this equation right here is essentially just a quadratic equation. We have a u squared minus u minus 12 equals zero. We can solve this like any other quadratic equation, uh, which I'm just gonna do it by factors, factoring here. We need factors of negative 12 that add to be negative one. I can take u minus four and u plus three, right? Notice negative four times three is a negative 12, but negative four plus three is negative one. So we have the correct factorization there. And so then we end up with u equals four and negative three. Now, sometimes we get so excited about solving the quadratic equation, we forget that we made a u substitution here. We have to go back to the original variable, right? We have to go back to this u statement right here. So what this tells us is that if u equals four, that means two to the x is uh, four. And if u equals negative three, that means two to the x equals negative three. Now on the left-hand side, there's a couple things you could do. You could solve this by using a logarithm if you wanted to. This one's not too hard to see, right? What power of two gives you four? Well, that's the second power. So that would tell me that x equals two, because again, x squared equals four. Um, on the right, the, the, the second one though, two to the x equals negative three. Well, remember the domain of an exponential function like two to the x is actually gonna be all positive numbers. Excuse me, not the, not the domain. Um, I meant to say the range, the domain is all real numbers. The, the range of two to the x, this is gonna be all positive numbers. So in fact, you can't have an exponential equal a negative uh, when your input is a real number. So it turns out there's no solution that comes from this situation right here. So we can just get one solution and thus it turns out to be x equals two. 
And so we showed you how to show in this video how to solve a quadratic like equation when your u substitution is an exponential function. But this idea works in general that if you can find u equals some f of x, right, and you make that substitution, you get this this quadratic equation. Solve the quadratic equation, you're going to get two solutions, and then you have to solve the equations f of x equals the first solution, and then f of x equals the second solution, which we did that with exponentials in this case.